I'm Brian Westbrook with GeekWire Studios. This is AWS reInvent 2024. We are now joined by our friends from both Accenture and Empower. From Accenture, I have Elon Geller, the global lead for the Amazon Gen AI Center of Excellence, and Kyle Caffey, the Vice President of Technology Innovation Lab for Empower. And I wanna start with you, Kyle. Welcome to the both of you. First, for those not familiar, what is Empower? Yeah, Empower is a leading financial services firm. We specialize in retirement solutions and wealth management. Uh, we serve over 19 million customers and have over $1.8 trillion in assets that we manage. So, and we're growing really fast as well. Um, Empower has a long history of innovation and uh, you know, excited to talk about some of that with you with our innovation lab and the work we're doing in the AI space. I have to tell you a little bit of an inside trick here. I am one of those 19 million, was it 19 million customers? That's right. Said? I think I'm like 19001 <laughs> and my assets are probably on the low end of that scale as well. Now, can you tell us more about Empower's innovation journey? I know you're working on some pretty cool stuff. Tell us about it. Yeah, absolutely. So earlier this year, we actually started an innovation lab, which is really dedicated to exploring emerging technologies and doing experimentation. It's not really the start of our innovation journey. Actually, Empower is a very innovative firm and has that in its DNA. Uh, we're very cloud forward. We're early adopters of AWS and cloud technologies. Um, but this year, we're really uh, planning a flag around uh, bringing emerging technologies like generative AI to our business and to deliver value for our customers. Um, and so standing up the lab was a key step for that. And I get to lead that team. It's really exciting. That is a great place to be in any organization. You have that one project that you're really proud of that is an example of the Innovation Lab. Tell us about that story. What is that project? It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. We actually, earlier this year, had the idea to create an advanced analytics capability for our contact center, all with the customer in mind to improve customer service. We, uh, we brought in Accenture. Alon was on the team with us and helped accelerate our progress there. And uh, the idea is a solution that could help us proactively detect service challenges. And maybe Alon, if you want to share a little bit of what that partnership looked like. Yeah, and so uh, we we're very excited to partner with Empower and Kyle and his team. And really our focus was all around how do we uh, stand up the environment, first the, the sandbox and the environment around that, but then also move into co-innovation and build this use case with a focus on getting it to production so that we can get the scale and then the continuing innovation around as this uh, field continues to evolve, what can we bring in to make sure that we are making sure everything's future proof and looking to, to be stand up. It sounds like the two teams worked very closely together to innovate and to build this out. Uh, tell us about the partnership and how the partnership especially brought real value to the project. Yeah, I can say, you know, we, from the beginning, worked together on a vision and a strategy around the Innovation Lab, as well as this initial use case that we pursued. Um, and by bringing in Accenture and leveraging capabilities like AWS's Bedrock, we were able to move really fast. Mm -hmm. um, we were in a matter of a few weeks, we had a high functioning prototype for the solution. And then in a matter of months, we've gotten it into a production environment for use by our uh, the team that's going to be using it for real. So that's really fast in any industry, but especially in financial services. And I'm really confident it's going to drive tremendous value for our customers. That's great. Elon, any particular challenges that come to mind? Well, I mean, I think that it's it's the dual speed. We want to make sure that we're building and, and co-building the, the use case to get it into production while also thinking about the overall structure and how, how the overall framework needs to be built. And so we try to make sure we're thinking of all the future technologies so that um, we can we can get that built out. And speaking of things that you're thinking about, I, I guarantee you that on the top of everyone's mind is safety and mitigating risks. Tell us about that journey and how that was forefront using this one example project. Yeah, when it comes to AI and especially generative AI, there's really novel risks and concerns that we have to keep you know top of mind. And so at the start of this project, we weaved into our product strategy what we call responsible AI, which is essentially a set of objectives that uh, make sure that we're doing this safe and ethically, that we're not producing any adverse outcomes as a result of the solution that we're building. Things like making sure it's accurate, there's no hallucinations coming out of the solution. Um, and so 
by establishing those targets early on, we were able to iterate and test the solution to make sure that it was doing exactly what we wanted it to do and that we were doing it responsibly. Now, the project has obviously evolved since you started down this path, not only the partnership, but the project itself as the project has continued on. How has it evolved? What have you learned? Where do you see it moving forward? Lots of questions. You wanna start, Kyle? Yeah, I can start. I, I think, uh, again, really proud of the progress we've made. We've laid a foundation that um, in, in a quick a quick time frame that we can build on top of. And so I see us going, 2024 was the year of experimentation. I see 2025 being the year of um, extension, extensibility and acceleration. So what's on the roadmap, Alon? Yeah, I mean, I think the focus as Kyle was saying, where, where we want to go to is really to get to scale, to get these solutions built, to build on the momentum that we've done, knowing how certain things operated in power in this technology, now we can layer on top more use cases, more things to production and more things to scale so that we can help uh, realize the full value of uh, generative AI. Yeah, and always great to build a foundation, uh, a bedrock, if you will, if you pardon the silly joke there. Thank you so much for taking the time, Alon and Kyle. I'm Brian Westbrook with GeekWire Studios. Thanks for watching.